my channel. My name is Valencia and you're watching Styling with V. And on this channel, I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle. But my main focus is helping the mid-sized woman with fashion and styling. If that is something that may interest you, please subscribe to my channel down below. And to my OG subscribers, thank y'all for coming back. So y'all know it is pre-fall time. And they got so many videos of pre-fall from the Northern girls. I want to get some of the Southern girls because some of the stuff that they wear, we're not going to be able to wear that until probably like November or December. So I pulled some items from my closet that I've already hauled on this channel before. I wanted to create some looks that we can still look very stylish, even though we're not having on heavy coats and trenches and all those things but i just wanted to give us a lookbook and my outfit format that i use for my body because with my body i'm considered two body types um i could be considered inverted triangle which is i have broad shoulders don't really have a defined waist and very narrow hips and then i can be considered apple shaped too because i have a bigger stomach than i have my hips so I want to just show you how I pick out outfits and what determines what I can wear and what I cannot wear. Instead of me getting a rambling, let's get to explaining these outfit formulas. Now on this first look, I love a clinch anything. Give me a clinch jacket, a clinch shirt. I love a clinch anything. So this shirt went viral last year. All the style girls was trying to get this shirt. And what I love about this shirt, it has a clinch waist. And it has a tie behind it so you can tighten the waist even more if you wanted to. It doesn't have shoulder pads because with me being broad, I don't like really thick shoulder pads, but it's structured. So that's why I love this top. I got this top in a large, but I really could have used the extra large, but that was all that they had. And then I paired up with this pinstripe mini skirt that I got from ASOS and what I love about this skirt, it is flowy. I like stuff to flow away from my body. I like volume on my bottom half because I don't have a lot going on down. I don't have a lot of hips, I don't have a, a butt and I really, really love this skirt. And then I like to show my legs. So when I like to show my legs, I like to have some heels on. I'm such a heel girl. I can do a tennis shoe but I prefer a heel. I paired it up with these metallic bow sandals from Zara, they're a sling back. And one thing about me, I'm gonna wear a sling back. I don't want to have to buckle nothing. Nothing. I don't wanna buckle nothing. I wanna be able to stick my foot in there and just keep it moving. And this is a real fun outfit. This is something that I will wear on a day, go to brunch, but this is one of my signature and if you know me, I love me a blazer. I'm going to wear me a blazer. So it doesn't matter if they have sleeves or they don't have sleeves. I am going to buy me a blazer. Last year, I went on a spree of buying blazers. And I ended up at the Goodwill getting blazers. So if you're looking for some good quality blazers, I would say go to Goodwill, especially the men's department, because most of the time the men's blades are already altered so they have a slim waist and wider shoulders and the only thing that i would say about a goodwill blazer or a secondhand blazer sometimes a men's blazer shoulder pads may be too high you may have to take those out but other than that they are some good quality blazers those blazers are better than the ones that i probably got from express i would say check out your goodwill shop and check out some of your secondhand shop, like your consignment shop. So you probably can get some really good deals on some nice blazers. I picked up this sleeveless blazer from ASOS and ASOS has really good quality clothes. They have different brands on the ASOS website. So you can probably get some from Topshop. You get, it's so many different shops on there that you can get some. But I specifically love the ASO Design brand because that is more of a higher quality fabrics. So I got this in a pink and it was oversized. So I got it in a large, but it was oversized. So how I made it fit for my body 
I tied the belt in the back so it could kind of give me a cinch waist. And then I paired it up with this sweetheart neckline because necklines matter, <laughs> especially on me. I love like a scoop, a V. I like some type of neckline on my clothing because if not, I look boxy because I don't have a lot of hips. I don't have a defined waist. So I got this in a size extra large and this is in the color Swan. And then I paired it up with these denim boyfriend shorts that I got from Old Navy. And I love boyfriend shorts because they're not high rise. I do not like high rise unless it's like a wide leg pant. And I got these in a size 16 and you probably can still find some of these in the store. And then I paired it up with this cream belt that I got from H&M. I popped all this stuff before. And then what I wanted to do to make this outfit pop is I threw on my Steve Madden boots that I've had for, I think, three or four years. And I paired it up with the matching clutch. It has a crossbody strap, but I never wear the crossbody strap. And I think this is so fun. I think this is so chic. I think this is so elevated this is the outfit form of that i'm going to wear over and over and over again whether it's with sleeves or without sleeves i really like this outfit formula for my body now this next look some of you may like this trend but i love this trend and it is barrel jeans i love me some barrel jeans and i've only tried the one from free people and they are 90 $8. But I feel like they're worth the money. Since I've bought those barrel jeans, I've worn them so many times. So I like the barrel jeans because they make me look like I have hips because how they go out on the side. So it makes me look more curvy. And I just paired it up with this rust color sleeveless hoodie that I got from Zara from a sale no longer available and I love the color on this top that's what intrigued me to buy it and plus it was on the Zara sale and then I wanted to contrast with that rust so I threw on my MCM belt and this belt is two-sided so you can put it on the monogram part or you can put it on the black part so I wore this belt out I bought this belt before they increased the prices on all the luxury items. So I think I paid like $200 for this belt, but I've got my money for it. And then I paired it up with a wallet on the chain from the MCM. I got this too before um, they increased the prices on the designer item. And another item that I've had in my wardrobe that I get so much wear out is my Tory Burch Tura sandals. I bought these last summer and they was retail for $298. I've got my money's worth out of these sandals. I wish I would have got the white and black ones, but the black ones, I have dogged these sandals out. Not dogged them out, but if I can pull these dad sandals out, I'm going to pull them out because they're so comfortable on my feet. They were way worth the money. And this outfit is so casual. You can wear this outfit out with your friends, running errands, but I really, really love this outfit. And this next look is around camo. So I feel like camo never goes out of style. You can wear camo in the summer, spring, fall, winter. You can get bottoms, tops, shoes, bags. Camo is a neutral. You can pair camo with anything. So I got these camo pants from Fashion Nova probably about last year. And what I love about these camo pants is they have strings. So they make a statement on its own. Even though camo is a neutral, you can get stuff in these neutral pieces to make it stand out. And I love these. I got these in a 1X because I feel like Fashion Nova runs a bit small. So I'm always a 1X in Fashion Nova. Anywhere else, I'm an extra large. And then I paired it up with this corset top because I love a cargo in a corset. Cargo me and corset me any day. So I got this corset last year. And what I love about this corset is cinches in at your waist. And I love the gold button detail hardware. This year, you're going to see a lot of gold hardware, big, bold hardware. I got this last year and it is right on time for this trend. And then, you know, we like to wear camo. So a lot of times we wear red. So I got these Jeffrey Campbell boots. They're called their darling boots. 
And I love these boots because the calf is small. A lot of times when I buy boots, the leg open is, is too big because I have thinner calves. So I love these and they come in so many different colors. So right now, I'm currently waiting on the black ones to come in a 10. And if these, I had to go up a size. I'm normally a nine and a half, but I bought them in 10. And this is a cute outfit to go on a day, but I think this is so cute. And this is one of my favorite outfit forms. This is our last look, but I've already told you that I love blazers. So normally when I get my blazers from Express, I get a boyfriend blazers. And if I get a boyfriend blazer, I want to go down inside. So it's more of a tailored blazer on me. So I bought this blazer in black. I got one in a mustard and I got one in the yellow and I got them all on clearance. So check Express Clearance plus sign up for the rewards. They always give you extra perks. Like right now I have a $10 reward and I haven't bought nothing in months from them. I wanted to make this really chic and hot weather friendly. So I threw on this lace bodysuit that I got from H&M last year sometime. And I really, really love lace. I love lace. I like lace skirts, lace bottoms. I think lace is so romantic. I think lace is so sexy. And then I wanted to pair it with my bubble hem skirt that I got from Zara. Okay, I got this skirt in an XXL because you know that's the highest as Zara goes. And this skirt is so short. You have to wear shorts under this if you're gonna bend over. But another way that you can wear this skirt is wear it with a longer blazer. And then you don't have to worry about bending over and showing the world all that you got. And I love bubble hem on my body because it gives me volume at the bottom. I paired it up with these sling back heels that I got from Zara in the black. And like I told you before, I have these in so many different colors. And then I still wanted to play off the gold, so I have some gold jewelry on. I threw on this Zara bag, and what's so unique about this bag, it's black, and then it have a swivel handle. So that's the type of stuff that I'm looking for now. I'm looking for interesting pieces, statement pieces that I can just take a simple, basic outfit and make it wise eye with just my accessories, with my earrings, my shoes, my bags, and things like that. And this is something that I would definitely wear on a date. I think this is so cute. It's comfortable, it's making a statement. And you can still pair stuff like this with your summer pieces. You don't have to get rid of all your summer pieces. You can just throw on black, just kind of dim it down a little bit. But I think this is so cute. Now this is the end of the video and I want to thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. I would like if you would comment what was your favorite look and what is your outfit formula for fall. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.